Welcome to Create and Orchestrate. Today, we're gonna to talk about why you should never ask someone to pick their brain. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, I don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings about this. I have lots of people who I really like who reach out to me and will say, hey, Marcus, I really love what you're doing and I'm thinking about doing something similar. I'm thinking about starting a business. Is it okay if I buy you a cup of coffee and pick your brain? No, no, it's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay, man. What do you see when you hear the words pick your brain? Don't you get the visual of someone cracking your head open and like just messing around with all your soft tissue in your head? Neocortex frontal lobe. Brainstem! Brainstem! Hippocampus neural node right hemisphere. Like it's disgusting. Come up with a better way, of, uh, you know, a more flattering way to, uh, to get what you want from people. Be more charming. You can do better. I expect better from you. You can do better. I got a lot of stuff I'm doing. I got a family. I got a couple of businesses. I got fun stuff I like to do. I got friends I like to hang out with. And I'm putting all my energy into a newsletter and into these videos to try to help. Now, if there are things you want me to address, I'm happy to address them in the video. Um, I'm happy to address them in the newsletter. I'm happy to write you an email back. But when you say you want to buy me a cup of coffee in order to pick my brain, it really says to me you don't really think about how I value my time, right? And this is not just about me. It's just something that's happening a lot to me. And I'm making this video because there are some really nice people who I really like who have sent me messages recently asking to pick my brain. And I just don't think they understand how they're coming off. So I'm doing this video one time. I did a post a couple years back about this when I'm doing this video one time to just make the point that if you want something from somebody, you need to think about how you are approaching them and how they're gonna receive that message. And it's become this convention to just say, I wanna pick your brain. I don't think people are thinking about how that's received, right? It's not positively received. It's not like the person who has the value you want is sitting there saying, oh great, I can't wait for someone to come pick my brain. Like, no one's saying that, right? So think about how you can ask them in a way that's gonna be respectful um, and engaging, where they'll be excited about wanting to meet with you as opposed to just feeling down and like, yeah, sure, they'll do it, but they're not gonna be excited about it. Also, think about things as a partnership. Is there a way you can help them? Is there anything you can do for them? Can you identify some aspects of their content that maybe you know, can use improvement and you, you know, provide some value. Don't just reach out and ask someone to give you something and then on top of that say, I wanna pick your brain. So anyway, it's a whole episode about how you shouldn't say pick your brain because too many people do it, okay? So this is it, one whole show dedicated to don't do it. If anyone does, I'm gonna be sending them this show. Um, you shouldn't do it, you shouldn't allow other people to do this to you, your time is valuable. Right, Your time is really, 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 really valuable. There aren't that many hours in the day that you're actually gonna be able to work on the thing that's going to matter, that's gonna make an impact in this world. So I was having coffee with my buddy yesterday and he was saying one of the biggest eye openers for him in his first year of entrepreneurship was when he looked back at the travel receipts at the end of the year and he realized how much time he spent in the car driving to the coffee shop to have coffee with people. He was like, Dude, I, I think I spent, you know, 
five to 10 hours a week that I could have been productive, writing, you know, make, making sales pitches, creating products, thinking about my market, modeling. I spent that time driving to a coffee shop to meet with someone and not getting any value, right? The number one currency we have is our time as entrepreneurs, as hustlers, it's our number one currency. So you gotta protect it. I'm protecting mine and no, you cannot pick my brain. One love.